here in the middle of downtown. What's up fellow drivers? So tonight, or today, whenever you're watching this, it's night for me. Uh, we're gonna be talking about takeovers and if LA is hot. So a lot of people are saying this right now, and to give you some background, basically, uh, takeovers have been coming more and more popular uh, in the recent years, and if you don't know what that is, basically, it means that uh, a group of people block off a street, an intersection, um, some people have even done it on freeway, which is crazy, don't do that. Um, and they do burnouts, uh, donuts, um, tandem drifting, or just generally act like a jackass. So uh, that's what a takeover is. And recently, there was an incident that has been going around the internets and uh, I'm here in downtown right now and uh, yeah so I don't actually know exactly where uh, this incident took place uh, but there was a takeover where people doing crazy donuts there was a big crowd the whole street was blocked off and the police showed up and people uh, would not let the police through and they started chanting uh, like fuck the police and some guys even shot fireworks at the police and I don't know if people were arrested at all I'm assuming they were um, I wasn't there <laughs> but uh, anyway it's been going around the internet a lot and it's gotten a lot of attention and major groups on IG have been posting things uh, people like uh, 9k and others uh, with hashtags uh, not my scene and people basically sending a message that this kind of behavior is not what real car culture is about and it's just kind of um, You know people being dumb and we don't want to be lumped in with those kind of people and so you know we don't want to get unnecessary tickets, but People are saying that cops are giving out tickets for any excuse and uh, the fact that there was this big incident with people like shooting fireworks with them and um, you know and it was associated with cars I think that's the big problem so even though it wasn't at an official car meet uh, you know it wasn't sponsored you know just there were cars there and people were doing things with cars at the same place where people then started uh, chanting fuck the police and shooting fireworks at them so it's just associated with cars so uh, people are saying that the police are stopping any kind of modded cars. So if you have a window tint, if you have an exhaust, if you aren't running a front plate, that uh, they will stop you and uh, give you a fix-it ticket or ask you to pop your hood or whatever. So the question is, should you be worried? Or even if you're not in the LA area, um, is this something that maybe could concern you at some point? And you know, is this, I, I think this could affect car culture in general. So my opinion on this is that if you have modified your car in a way that is illegal in your area, whether it's not running a front plate or it's not uh, complying with smog regulations or noise regulations or safety or whatever it is um, you're basically signing up for it okay now uh, you know as somebody who is certainly into car culture or whatever that means um, obviously I don't want to get tickets more than anybody else and I don't really see things that I do uh, as a problem but if you choose to do something, as harmless as it is logically, fact is certain things are illegal. 
And if you have done those kind of things to your car, you are accepting a risk, okay? So whether LA is hot right now or not, you are already saying that you're willing to take the risk of getting a ticket, getting your car towed, whatever it is. So don't use somebody else acting like an asshole as an excuse or a reason to complain or say that you shouldn't be hassled. Now, that being said, you know, don't drive like an asshole. Uh, be careful around cops. Um, always be respectful. Don't put yourself and other people in danger. Um, you know, just be responsible, okay? I'm not gonna say that I never speed or I've never done anything illegal, but you have to use your head, okay? Don't give them a reason. Don't associate yourself, okay? And that is one thing that I definitely agree with um, people in the car community that have been uh, posting this incident and saying, not my scene, okay? I definitely do believe that you should try and separate yourself from this, okay? So if you're not going to shady meets and you're not, uh, you know, boosting through parking garages and uh, you're not doing anything super crazy around cops, you know, you're probably going to be fine. But again, if you have something illegal, whether or not uh, your area is hot, you have decided to take on the risk that maybe you will get a ticket. So. Uh, don't blame it on somebody else and drive responsibly and I'm not saying that uh, you shouldn't do anything to your car that's uh, fun or uh, drive in a way that's fun but you just can't uh, blame external factors like this okay uh, things are going to happen so respect to everybody who is speaking out against behavior like takeovers I don't endorse them at all and I encourage you guys to not participate in them and you know be a responsible enthusiast modify your car how you want it uh, go to the track when you want have some fun doing some spirited driving but uh, don't inconvenience everybody else by blocking off a street be responsible you don't want to put your life or somebody else's life at risk uh, because you're engaged in some kind of crazy illegal activity so uh, i guess this was just kind of a quick um, rant or psa or whatever you want to call it um, a little bit of a reality check. Personally, I'm not worried. Um, you know, nothing too crazy has gone on at meets that I've been to. I go to cars and coffee, I go to big meets. Um, you know, you just gotta kind of read the situation, be responsible. And thanks for watching. Uh, if you're in the LA area, let me know if anything crazy has happened to you. Or if you're not in the LA area, let me know how things are. Hear that? <laughs> Somebody's having fun right now. Anyway, in the comments below, let me know what you think about this whole takeover situation. Is LA hot? Is your area hot? Do you have any stories? Um, anything that you think that you should be aware of? Are cops being abusive? And I'll see you guys in the next video.